What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check it out. So you can see by this headline on the Hollywood Reporter that Barbie is uh, stepping in to become the top grossing movie of 2023 domestically uh, thus far, uh, global soon to follow. It is now passed up the Super Mario Brothers movie in North America and will do the same at the worldwide box office by early next month. And yeah, they listed down here, uh, no later than the first week of September, uh, Super Mario will get overtaken by Barbie. Now listen, I'm not one of these cats that gets all up in arms about Barbie, okay? Barbie is exactly what I thought it would be, okay? I'm a Bears fan. The Bears are who we thought they were. Barbie is what I thought it was. Barbie is a woke feminist film, ultra feminist. I, I didn't understand why everybody was so upset about that. I came out, I did a video, which I'll link above. I said, this is exactly what I expected. I'm not sure why everybody else is confused. You know, it was going to be this type of a film. I didn't go and watch it. I didn't spend one dime or one interest. I haven't really made that many videos about it. You know, because again, I knew what Barbie was going to be. And so I'm like, yeah, it's, it's Barbie, you know? But here's the question. Here's the question. You have two very successful films in 2023 amongst a sea of unsuccessful films. Box office flop after box office flop after box office flop. We've seen nothing but just complete disaster. All right. Especially coming from Disney, but just not Disney from other companies as well, making just giant flop flopperoos. Okay. Will they learn lessons? Will they take the lessons that Barbie and Super Mario Brothers have taught us in 2023 for the movie going public going forward? What's the movie going public interested in? What are they going to check out? Again, we've had nothing but big uh, major franchises, okay? Indiana Jones, flop, all right? You got the MCU, flop, flop, all right? You got DC flopping. You had your Little Mermaid remake flop. You have nothing but flops coming out of Hollywood lately. Are you gonna keep doing it? Are you gonna do something different? Are you gonna learn the lessons that Barbie and Super Mario Brothers have taught us? Now, what are those lessons? Well, the first lesson I think is that you gotta make movie specifically for your target demographic. You can't try to overlap demographics. You gotta focus on the demographic that you're making your films for, all right? Like for instance, Barbie, okay? Barbie, like I said, 1000% feminist film, but it's made for women. So it makes sense that it would be a feminist film and they've targeted women, okay? They talk about women issues. Again, I haven't seen it, but just hearing what women have said about it, it's like, yeah, this hit home, all right? This hit home. And look, women are the majority of the movie audience, but what do they really wanna see? Well, this is a question that people have been asking for a long time, all right? I've made this point several times to friends, to T and everything. I said this, uh, women, this stat, women make up 51% of moviegoers in the United States and Canada. Women are the majority population, okay? So women, of course, being 51% of the population, they go to see more movies. But the movies that they're going to see are like kids' movies because they take the kids to the animated films, all right? Moms take their kids to the animated films. Or they're going with their boyfriends and their husbands to see like Marvel and Star Wars and that kind of thing. Every once in a while when a romantic comedy comes out, they'll flock to the theater to see that, all right? But there hasn't been a thing like Barbie, all right? Something that is zeroed in specifically for women, like an IP, okay? I said that Barbie is one of the biggest IPs on the planet, all right? It's somewhere between the fifth and eighth biggest franchise on the planet. So obviously it makes sense. You make a movie about Barbie, People are going to go and watch that, women especially, because it's a huge IP. It already has a lot of fans. So my thing is, women are the biggest movie going demo. They don't really have a lot of specific movies made for them, for their specific IPs. So make more movies for women, all right? Now, the wrong lesson, the lesson that Hollywood is probably going to take from this, oh, we just need to hijack all these male-centric franchises. We need to hijack Marvel and make the MCU. We need to hijack Star Wars and make it Disney Star Wars with girl boss characters, okay? That's the lessons that Hollywood takes from this kind of crap. And it's like, God, God, this is what leads to your flops, all right? This is what leads to your flops. Listen, it's the exact same thing with Mario. Now, you look at Mario, you look at these characters, and it's like, oh, this looks like they walked right out of the video game, all right? And what people of the video game genre want is they want more authentic representation of the classic characters and IPs that they grew up loving and following, okay? And focus on that. Make it look good, okay? Don't do this, all right? Don't do this crap, all right? Where you have this uh, broken down looking uh, Sonic over here and then the fans outcry had them change it. 
All right. And that's the other thing. Listen to your fan base, your fan base, the ones that you're making this film for, supposedly, they're the ones that are going to lead you in the right direction. Hey, guys, how does this Sonic look? Oh, hey, that looks like fucking shit. Oh, OK, we'll change it right now. That's how you do it. OK, you listen to the fans, really listen to the fans, listen to the fans and you won't go wrong. All right. That goes with Star Wars. That goes with Marvel. That goes with DC. That goes across the board. All right. Especially when you're dealing with big popular IPs like Mario. Okay. Mario is a humongous IP, a humongous IP. And again, you can see that through this box office performance that it had in the theaters. You want to make sure that you do right by your fan base. Now, that would be the right lesson. But the wrong lesson is where you got these directors that want to do some sort of a take. Okay on this popular IP, this popular franchise. You know, they want to do some sort of a take, whether it be the MCU, whether it be the stuff that they've done with Star Wars. Again, focus on, hey, what made this popular? And let me go back to the fans that actually supported this thing and made it popular and made it the big iconic IP that it is, where we could just throw in some money, purchase the IP and go make billion dollar film after billion dollar film. Why is that possible? Well, it's possible because of the fans that you have at home, the guys that are waiting for films like, oh my God, I've been waiting for this movie to come out. I couldn't wait to see this movie and so on. That's what you want. You want people kind of like the women were with Barbie. Women been waiting for a movie like Barbie. That's why they showed up in droves, dressed in pink and everything, you know? So to me, those are the lessons that you take away from Mario and Barbie. Don't take the wrong lessons. But again, this is Hollywood, all right? And these guys have just been in a downward spiral in terms of the box office. We've seen it. There's been about like six or seven major flops. All right. Films that are going to lose somewhere in the neighborhood of a hundred million dollars a pop. And they're not going to learn from it. Okay. It's just going to be flop, 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 flop. That's my, <laughs> that's my prediction. All right. Going forward. You see Bob Iger already saying, oh, we just need to cut back on the flood of Marvel movies and series. That's the problem. We've just been making too much content. Well, yeah, that's true. And yeah, that cuts away from the focus and the attention, all right? You make less quality product. But the reality is, is that even if you make less Marvel, if it's all MCU bullshit, it's still going to have the same result. Nobody's going to go and watch it, all right? People are tune out real quick, all right? Oh, oh, look what happened with Star Wars. Look what happened after The Last Jedi. Solo, flop. All right. And then people showed up to see the rise of Skywalker, but that was much less than what it should have been for the finale of the trilogy. Again, because people I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm not watching this crap. I'm done with this crap. And they haven't made a Star Wars movie since because they're scratching their heads trying to figure out oh, what are we doing wrong? What you did wrong is you filled it with nonsense. OK, you hijacked a male centric franchise and you screwed it. Get back to your roots. Focus on what George Lucas said. It was designed to be a film, like mythology, uh. of this is what we stand for, you're about to enter the real world. You're 12 years old, you're going to go on into the big world, you're moving away from your parents being the center focus, you're probably scared, uh, you don't know what's going to happen, and here's a little idea of some of the things you p should pay attention to, you know, friendships, uh, honesty um, and uh, trust and doing the right thing, living on the light side, avoiding the dark side. Back to the original vision, okay? Back to your roots, all right? George Lucas created a timeless classic, all right? And you guys are trying to lock it into time. You guys are trying to lock it in to what's going on right now, and that's not gonna work, okay? It's going to completely derail the franchise. Keep it where it's at. The same thing they're doing with Lord of the Rings, all right? Trying to update it for a quote-unquote modern audience. Knock that shit right on off, all right? Same thing with Marvel, what Stan Lee created as well. Focus on the original creation because that's what made it popular, all right? But that's not what these guys are going to do. Oh, our attention is going to be just on making less films. Let's make them better films. Let's do better with the quality, but it's going to be less. All right. And then the final thing I'll say is, look, maybe just start creating your own shit, you know, or, or bringing out new IPs, you know, that haven't been seen before, that haven't been unearthed. You know, this was the first Mario Brothers movie or not the first one, but the first one that actually is authentic. All right. And this is the first real Barbie movie. 
You know, there's been all kinds of little web series and shit like that. I'm talking about a feature film that's in theaters, right? This is the first. So maybe, you know, start dipping and touching on other franchises, other IPs that haven't been made before. Stop making the 10th freaking Fast and the Furious movie. You know, you saw how that flopped. Even Mission Impossible, which I think is a great film, it's on film number seven, and it's not doing well. It's going to flop. It's going to be a major flop this year. So maybe, again, dip away from, you know, recycling the same numbers, franchises over and over and over, and say, hey, you know what? Let's let's find out some new franchises that we can, you know, dive into, you know? Anyway, folks, that's my advice for Hollywood that they won't follow whatsoever. But you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.